Hello! So this is going to be the, the video of the demonstration of the car. So first we're going to begin with the outside. So this particular one we changed the front grille and headlight to the Grand Via facelift. We also changed the side mirror to the chrome. around the exterior of the car and we also upgrade the suspension feel more comfortable during the drive so this is the headlight with the running indicators I'm going to show you Headlight come with the running indicators and the spotlight. We also add the LED. So the next function I'm going to talk about is the electric door. Electric door, you have the close and open button on here, which is I'm going to show you on the. Now it's like open. I'm pressing button again to close the car. The electric door if you are turning the car off for several days this one is to save the power of the door so if you press it to be out coming out it means the the electric door system is closed so you cannot open the, the door anymore once you press it again you can continue using the electric door and come back again so I'm going to leave it on at this moment first and you can see the green button here the green button here is the power saving for the interior that we add on so every time you turn on the engine or you finish using the car please turn it off and once you want to use the car please start the engine first before you turn this back on okay with this on now you can using the interior of the car before we going to the interior, I'm going to start with the driver first. Okay, for the drivers, we have new Android system here, which later I'm going to change back to English so you can use. This one is the aircon for the driver. You can see the AC signal here. So if you turn on the front aircon, you can use the aircon system. If you turn off the aircon, the rear system can use, but there is no 
there's no cold wind coming out so at least the driver will need to earn, turn on at the first speed of the van of the fan then this one is to control the temperature if you are too cold or too hot you can adjust on this side you never go to this side this one is to be the heater so we never use the heater okay for the rear for the rear aircon is up above this uh, first button is go button is to turn off the turn off and turn on the rear aircon so once you press on this one become on so how how the aircon the rear aircon controller works is that um, you will see up and down button this one to control the fan speed so this one is number four so which is the full power of the fan if you see it's, it's too loud or you can lower down to number three number two and number one number one is the lowest wind so if you press it again it would be a a means automatic automatic is like once you press set this one is high blinking you can set the temperature like you can set the temperature to any temperature you like i would recommend around 21 or 22 so if if the fan back to automatic and now it says 28 the the wind speed will be far, will be more stronger than 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 normal so once the temperature is cooling down it's automatically slow down the wind for you so actually this one you can just keep it automatic and and it, the system will automatically do it for you okay and next for the drivers you have two button here this one is for the light and this one is for the clock if you need a clock you can use this one okay i keep it on at the moment under here you have the extra light beautiful design for the extra light okay i put it back for the moment this one is working normally we do it we do it back for you so you can use this and even the door system can can work also okay i turn on i i open the car put it back on okay this one is work as as normal it come with the car so now is the rear mirror system the rear mirror system is that uh, you can see the rear of the car with even we close this partition you can still see the rear of the car so it's it's help the driver to drive safely this one also doing the the recording camera for you also you can swipe this one is to see the front the swipe again is you see front and back at the same time the swipe again to see the back under here you have one button here if you don't want to see it anymore you can just turn back on and it will be normal mirrors and we also have the memory card also the memory card i think it's on the top okay and for this one you can adjust up down also if you want to see more below or more up it's up to you okay also this is the Android system which I will show you in the next video and this one this small button here is to turn off this head unit Android system if you want not if, if you don't want to use it you can turn it off if you want to use it you just put it back on And now you have this up down button. This this one is to open the partition here. Completely close. And once again, if you turn off this button, 
everything in the rear cannot work even the light here also this one is to prevent the power loss during when you're parking for a long um, a long day so it's, it's, it's good advice to keep this off okay so now we're using the car so we put it back on okay so now we finished with the front drivers I'm going to the passenger side So now welcome to the passenger side First thing first we are going to show you the, the electric seats Electric seat we have um, this nice cup holder and we also have this USB charger for for both sides so for left and for left for left passenger and right passenger you have individual USB charger and this is the button to control the seat this is to recline and come back This big one is to slide the, slide the seat forward and backwards. And you, if you lift the, the seat switch, electric leg rest will come up like this. And this one you can do memory also. You press the M button first. And you, if you save like number one, Later, you press number one and come back to the to the seat, the seat position that you save in. I will show you in now. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna move the seat randomly. And if you press number one, as we saved before, the seat will be automatic back to the position that we save. Nice. Okay, so both of the captain seat working it as the same. So now I'm going inside the car. This electric door you can just control by yourself also. No need to tell driver every time. Okay, so now the seat near the sliding door you have this table folding from the console and you can slide the table forward to pursue you also put it back okay and on this side you have this storage I'm going to hop to this side this side also have a table and the bigger table from the right side So this one is a little bit bigger from the other side and this one is the manual and it's quite heavy so when you put it down please slowly put down okay and you have a lot of cup holder here and a, and a few cup holder more at the top so now i'm going to talk about the console so the console you have the controller below here so this is the light switch and you have the up down for the partition also. So for this car, the partition is actually a 43 QLED Samsung screen. So you can have this remote control on the TV and you can connect to the internet by using your hotspot or anything that you that you use for for sharing the internet you can share it from the hotspot from your phone and anything you just go back to setting I will put it back to the English menu so you can use it okay 
and uh, I, I keep it on first for now. So the first two buttons on the right is the sound system. The farthest, the farthest right is you have this Android system also. It's coming up soon. Yeah. This two screen is actually connected to the big screen also. You can play anything on here and it will show up on the big screen so. And it's connected with the HDMI. If you don't want to use the the remote, you can just use the touch, touch screen here. This is more like a tablet for cars, so you can download more apps with the Play Store also. You can watch Netflix here also. Okay. And now we are going to open now the the sound system. Now we have this uh, small controller here. This small controller is to control the sound. This left side, left side, you have three buttons here. The first button is to switch the input. The AUX is the one that can sound come from this tablet, Android tablet. And you press one more time. If you go to OPT, OPT is mean optic. Optic input is actually direct from the TV. If you watch anything direct from the smart TV, you need to put this one to optic. You press once again is is MST. MST is nothing. We don't we don't connect anything to MST. So we put back to AUX. AUX means we're going to play anything on here back. I'm gonna pause this video for a second and I'm gonna connect this to Wi-Fi first and we continue the video. Okay, now um, I finished connecting the Wi-Fi. So first, I'm going to show you anything on the Smart TV first. Like, if I go to YouTube, this one using the, the Smart TV itself. So if we're going to watch anything on the TV screen, First, the sound doesn't come up because we put this one to AUX. We put back to the optic. So anything you play on the TV, it will open to the sound system. And if you think it's, if you want it to be louder, you see the the bottom button, ah. Huh? This one will be louder. It's to lower the volume. Okay, I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna pause this video. And now, if we do anything on the bottom screen I'm going to open a different video so now the sound is also disappear again we if you want to switch back to this one you just put back to AUX Okay, so this is the how to use the sound system in this car. Okay, and the rest now is the lighting. The first two lighting is the RGB lighting, which is under here, and we also have more lighting under here also. 
this RGB lighting comes with the RGB remote control it is like this and the sensor is is hiding under here so I'm going to change the color for you like this you can change any color you want according to the remote this one can also change color too So I'm um, finished with the demonstration of the TV, so I'm gonna turn off the TV. And uh, the next one is the star lighting. Okay. And two more buttons is one for this side wall and one for this air outlet ring. With the LED so this is all the lighting we have oh and the second seat second row you have the USB on both sides also one here and one here also the behind have extra for the last row seat just hiding inside the box on both sides also okay and this one we have the the coolest part is the electric curtains this is the remote to control the electric curtains you can see the number that blinking on here if you press the one the lowest button here you can select which curtains you want to control so first we are going to control the number one curtains which is the one on the sliding door you can press the middle button to stop it and you can put it up you see in the up button okay so i'm going to turn all the way down this one is uh, selecting the first curtains on the remote behind the first curtain is the number second The number three is the one that opposite the sliding door. And the number four is the one behind the number three. Okay. So now the car is more settled now. If you want to control all four at the same time, you press it again. So the all letter is blinking. So you can control all four at the same time. Okay, so this is the this is about that's about it to show you how to use the interior of the car. We also have the extra storage below here. This one if you want to use the SIM card that connect directly to this without having to do the hotspot. You can put the SIM card in here. This one is the socket to put in the SIM card. And if you want to connect any USB like sounds or mouse, you can just connect here. You can use directly to control this Android unit also. Yeah. And now the last row seat. Last row seat you can slide forward and backward also. I'm going to show you outside the car. So outside the car, you have this bar. So you push down, and you can slide for the extra storage that if you need it. And if you don't need it, you slide it back. Okay, so now this is the demonstration video of the car. Hey.
if you have time after you finish using the car please turn off all the light it will help you to save all the light for the longer road use And every time you finish using the car, please turn off this screen and just turn off the key. Okay, now you have the extra remote also. This one is to open the sliding door. This one is to open the sliding door. Okay, so yeah, that's it. Okay, thank you very much for seeing this video. I hope you understand all the things that we add into the car. So hopefully you're happy and love this car. Thank you very much.